Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I am going to explain about how to install Apache Hadoop on Ubuntu desktop operating system. If you want to know what is Apache Hadoop, in short note, Apache Hadoop is a software framework used for distributed storage and distributed processing using MapReduce programming model. We are going to install that and in future videos, we are going to use that software to build a distributed uh, uh, applications okay so let me start i have a set of instruction to be followed okay the first step is to install apache Hadoop is uh, you have to verify whether you have a java, java uh, installed on your machine uh, i am actually assuming you installed uh, uh, java 8 okay ja which is here i am using open jdk so if you have using oracle J, uh, jdk that's also fine if uh, if you have a uh, java 8 and above that should be fine okay to verify that i'll just go and uh, run this uh, uh, java home environment variable just echo it and check what is the path it has so uh, the assumption is uh, java jdk uh, 8 is uh, 1.8 is installed and uh, the java home uh, environment variable is set so let's open the terminal window then run this command so i already set it so if you want to know how to install this open jdk 8 please follow my previous video uh, i installed uh, open jdk 8 on the ubuntu operating system i given the clear step what need to be followed uh, so then uh, make sure it is set then what you need to do is just check the java version using a java version command so 1.8 is installed all right so now we can move to the next step uh, so i'm in a home directory and uh, just to follow the uh, uh, so basically i will be using the set of path where this uh, software Hadoop is going to be installed so i am following some uh, path so if you want to follow uh, say follow the same path or if you want to have a uh, Hadoop in different directory then change the uh, path accordingly so that's a uh, one note so in home directory i have already created a work work area directory and uh, inside work area i also created a software folder so if you are not created just create these two uh, and then go to software so this this is the place where i'm going to place the Hadoop software. I have another few softwares on this location, so I'm going to keep my all my softwares in this location, right? Now just uh, go to home directory, just cd tilde. Um, then what I'm going to do is uh, then step two is we need to create a SSH key for passwordless login. So basically this is a uh, distributed framework and uh, uh, we are building right so there when you run a the distributed application there are multiple process communicate each other so so we want to communicate via passwordless login so that's the reason we are setting up so for this we need to install this uh, open ssh server and client so this is a command to install it then copy this and paste it here so basically the command is sudo space apt hyphen get space install space open ssh hyphen server space open ssh hyphen client so run this it will ask you the sudo password and provide and it is going to consume few space uh, type cap letter y to continue So this is installed. Now just clear the screen and we are going to generate this password phrase. So it will ask you pass, uh, uh, enter the file name, just press enter, don't give any file name. Um, I just go here, just enter, right. So you can verify the file is created. This These files are created. Now you need to copy the content from the id underscore rsa dot pub into the uh, authorized key in the inside ssh folder you have authorized file so pa when you do cat of file 
you get a content just write it into the authorized keys and then do this step once it is completed just check you are able to do the SSH to the local host and it should not ask any password uh, are you sure want to connect to the connecting yes 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 and you are able to connect to the server without password so now just exit out of it okay now <coughs> so I will be in the home directory now I need to go and download the binaries so if you want to know where you want to buy, uh, download this go to the adobe.apache.org website uh, open a browser so in this you can take whatever the version you want to install I am installing the latest version 3.3.6 so I'll just uh, you can just click on this binary and you get the URL and I'm going to download it so I already kept that to those URLs here then use the wget command to download it so it is downloaded it's around uh, um, 13 MB of file so that's very fast okay now I want to move this file to the software folder which is inside the uh, work area folder okay just copy this command move command so just make sure you have the file so it's been moved so I'll just go to this location sorry So we have this uh, Adobe 3. Point, Adobe python 3.3.6.tar.cz. Three three so we are going to extract this file. Uh, this is the command to extract it. The command is uh, tar hyphen xv uh, x, xz vf and uh, give the file. So it looks like it is. Um, it is not installed uh, it's not extracted uh, properly maybe the file is not having proper content i guess uh, let's see tar hyphen x v is a df no so the pro the problem with the file binary file i'll just go here and uh, click on this binary and click here so it is around uh, uh, 6 uh, uh, 696 mbf file so whatever i downloaded is basically uh, not the correct file so let's remove this okay so okay now i'll just uh, downloading this file it's already downloaded it will be in the download folder I'll just copy from here I'll just cut this go to the home directory workflow sorry work area software I'll paste it here now again do ls so the file is here then again run this command uh, just so it is able to extract it so I think while doing the wget it did not download uh, the file properly so I manually gone to the uh, the browser and then j just downloaded so probably this something problem with this Either. okay so there is that's a so this is the correct url i corrected is i'll just remove this so i'm giving this correct uh, wget path the wget followed by the url path you can just refer this all right so next step is uh, we need to uh, set the hadoop home and uh, java home environment uh, 
variables on the bash rc file so the bash rc file will be in your home directory so my uh, username is data making so inside my data making home folder that file will be um, there okay so you can just verify by running this command ls uh, slash home data making dot bashrc so its file is there we will edit that file and then make these changes so make sure this folder is exist because this is the where my i'm assuming the software is installed on this means extracted on this this is the adobe installation folder so just open this file using nano editor so when you use uh, tilde it means obu directory so just come out come to the bottom of the screen so we already set the java home while installing jdk open jdk 8 so you can follow that set up that now i'm going to set the hadoop home environment variable <coughs> and other environment variables so paste it here control o enter it is updated control x to come out to refresh the bash rc file you can just say source tilde slash dot bash rc so which will have refresh the profile file now you can check the Hadoop version by running the Hadoop space version command so it is pointing to the Hadoop 3.3.6 perfect let's go and do some of the configuration changes so Hadoop binary is extracted and we set the environment variable now the important step is to uh, configure some of the uh, modify the some of the configuration create some of the configuration files so in the first uh, step number five what we are going to do is uh, start with the modify start with modifying the Hadoop env.sh file which will be inside your uh, this location whatever the location I'm pointing just make sure the file is there so inside Hadoop folder you have etc hadoop subfolders and you have to you need to find out this yes this file is exist and then open using the nano editor just come down and you see there is a java home okay so this location i'll just add that java home environmental i'll just export here and save this control o control o and enter to write or modify it control x to come out of it so now <coughs> we need to uh, create some uh, directories to store uh, some of the hadoop temporary files so for that we need to create this directory so uh, what i'm doing is uh, inside my software folders, I am creating a folder called Adobe Data. Inside that, I am creating a subfolder called Temp. So let's run this command. Once this is done, again I'll go back to this uh, uh, in this Adobe etc folder. Okay, so twice I paste it. Okay, now let's see what are the files are there. So there are many configuration files over here. So let's start with the modifying the core 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 iPhone site.xml where we are going to put the Hadoop temp directory and then the this is a very important property uh, fs dot default fs which is the name node uh, uh, URI. Okay, this is where this is using this URL you can connect to this name node programmatically. Okay, so for that you need to do that so let's modify this file and then come to this so inside your uh, configuration tag just add these two property tags make sure this path is correct okay that's very important and then 
we are going to mod if you are going to add some we are going to create a, a subfolder like name node and data node under data hadoop data for uh, writing metadata about a name node and um, data node so all name name node and uh, data node processes will write the metadata inside these folders so that's the reason we are creating this once this is done just set the permission uh, ownership for this folder so my username is data making the group name also data making so i'm just setting this so this is also done again i'm going to modify this hadoop site.xml uh, by specifying this two property tag one is name node uh, directory and another is data node directory and there is a replication factor i'm setting on so by default uh, hadoop supports three replication factor is three replication factor means so basically when you store a file in sdfs it stores it converts your file into blocks and stores in the sdfs for fault tolerant it keeps a copy of indige, uh, each block uh, into an, uh, like it, it has more than one copy of uh, blocks so basically duplication so that any node goes off so same block in another node will be used so by default it will have three copy of one block so since it's a single node installation so we are making it as a duplication factor as one so just we have to just copy this property tags and add it here and save this once this is done let's go to modify other few files one is mapred mapred site mapred hyphen site.xml similarly go to the configuration tag out this so we are using a framework a yarn framework for resource management so we are adding that then we are going to modify this uh, yarn site.xml again go to the configuration tag add couple of properties like map reduce shuffle so and so and then uh, resource manager web ui um, uh, the url we are specifying local host colon by default the web ui is 8088 so that's what we are saying here so just modify it here save so it is saved now finally again you set the ownership for this um, software folder just make sure it is set now just clear off uh, we are going to format the name node for first time so you need to run this command nodu sorry hdf space name node space hyphen format so it is going to format when you see this uh, name node has been successfully formatted then that means it's a uh, uh, good okay so just have this for your reference or i'll just add it here so that when you install you can just follow this is coming now the hadoop uh, framework is being installed now we need to start setup process uh, to make use of the hdfs which is a distributed file system which is for distributed storage and map reduce and yarn for uh, resource management and distributed processing so let's start some of the processes for storage related you can just say start hyphen dfs dot sh so it is going to start the name node data node and secondary name node you can then followed by you can run this start yarn dot sh it will start the resource manager and node manager okay now run this uh, command called jps to check all these nodes are running so resource manager secondary name node node manager name node data node all the processes are running successfully 
I'll just copy this and make it for keep it for your reference to verify the installation. All right, so let's check this name node web UI using this URL got nine eight seven zero. So your name node is the BOA is working so you can browse the files so right now there is no files so we'll start creating a folders and uh, files here and then you can also verify the resource manager which is localhost 8088 it's also running very good so we are successfully installed uh, apache hadoop on ubuntu desktop operating system i hope this video is helpful if you have any question please post it in the comment section of this video i'm happy to help you uh, please share this uh, video to your friends to help the larger learning community thank you so much friends